Good afternoon, uh, Oakton Presbyterian Church family. It's good to, to see you again. I wish I could see you. You can see me. Um, I've been thinking about how this time, almost like people who really love one another or lovers, when they're, when they're apart, uh, they long to be back together again. And that might be a beautiful thing this does for us as a church. The longing for reunion, which, which is probably already there, certainly with me. Anyway, I long to see you, and here I'm letting you see me as I share. I just want to share a brief word from uh, Psalm 23, one of the most uh, familiar passages there is. So let's look at Psalm 23. Open your Bibles to um, Psalm 23, 1 through 4. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Um, the first thing I'd like to just remind you, remind us as we look at this, is this, uh, this passage of scripture is so centered on God. It's not so not centered on us. The subject of every sentence is the Lord. The Lord is my shepherd. He makes me light. He leads me. He restores. He leads me. This is God-centered. It's also in the present tense. David is saying, right now, God is my shepherd, so I will lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures right now. He leads me. He restores my soul. So my question is, uh, was this a momentary experience of King David's in a time of sort of great spiritual strength? He felt this way? He had this experience of trusting and being in God? Or was this a kind of habit habitual sense of God's presence? He, he knew his shepherd was with him. You know, remember, David was a king who fought many battles. He fought many interpersonal battles. He had lots of struggles. So this is uh, remarkable if this is a, a kind of habitual experience or s spiritual position, perhaps, of King David's. The Lord is my shepherd. I will lack for nothing. And it's also a great promise for you and me, this steady experience of God. Now, it's a great promise. How? Well, if David could experience this and know this in his prayer relationship with God, you and I can too. Um, it is a promise. This is held out for us. Maybe you already know this as your day in, day out experience of God. The Lord already is your shepherd and you do not lack for anything. He already makes you lie down in green pastures, leads you beside still waters. He already restores your soul day after day after day. So this steady experience of God I want you I want us to to notice here is is not due to the greatness of David the writer. What we're describing here is not a great achievement of an extremely spiritual person. No, then you if you think that way your focus is getting it is 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 getting in the wrong place. This is due to the greatness of God himself. God, Almighty God, is near me right now. Almighty God is near you right now. This is what God is like. God is a shepherd, a great shepherd. God is our shepherd. You and I shall not lack for anything. He makes us lie down in green pastures. He leads us. Beside. We can be content. We can be trusting. We can say, I shall not want. I shall not lack for anything. Your soul can know the abundant food from God, the green pastures that satisfy your heart's craving. You can say, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. Your soul, he, leads, he, he gives me the abundant food, the green pastures, your soul can know that he gives you the abundant food, the green pastures that satisfy your heart's 
cravings. You can be the person, maybe you are already the person, who, whose heart's cravings are satisfied by the green pastures of God. Your soul can know the still waters, the spiritual peace and strength of walking with God. God can restore your and my soul right now. And he can increasingly do it more and more. Jesus, who is this same God here in the flesh, our Savior, our Shepherd, he, sa he said, I am the good shepherd. And he also said, come to me, all you who labor and are weighed down. Take my yoke upon you and you will find rest for your souls. He said that, you see that in Matthew 11, chapter 11, verse 29. So God can restore your soul right now, my soul, increasingly, the more we come to us. Let's look at verse 4. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Now let's be real. There is a shadow over all of us, us people all over the world. And yes, it's a shadow of death. A vague, threatening, much less vague for some people in Italy and Iran, already in parts of the U.S. There's a shadow over us as a people all over the world. And it's a shadow of death, especially for our vulnerable loved ones. So here's the promise. You can, I can, like David, rest in the shepherd of your soul. You can rest in that shepherd. You can, find, you can find yourself saying more and more, yes, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I am not afraid of any evil. For you, God, are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. So I want to leave you with a, the question for you to think about. Where are you feeling fear? Where are you feeling stress and anxiety right now in all of this? Take it to God. Walk with God beside the still waters that only God can lead you to. Allow God to restore your soul. Yes, even the, in the middle of this. The testimony of the saints through the ages is unmistakable. They can find rest for their souls. They have found rest for their souls in the middle of all kinds of trauma, all kinds of struggle, all kinds of violence. God is that kind of God. We can find rest for our souls right now. In the middle of all this, we can, EBC Church family. So where are you feeling stress, anxiety, fear? Take it to God. Allow God to, to, to lead you. Abide in God and allow God to lead you beside the still waters. He will restore your soul. And also, how do you see God providing? How do you already see the presence of the shepherd with you these days? Think about those two things. Where are you feeling stress? And how do you already see the God providing the presence of the shepherd in your lives these days? It's good to be with you again. Rest in God. Walk with God beside the still waters.